Okay, so I'm happy to show you guys the mobile app. Here it is. You can see the wiki reviews icon on the bottom, the big W. So I'll open this up. You will see that we have the same video playing as we do on the desktop. So we'll cycle through all those videos. And you can log in with Facebook, Google Plus, or with email. So we will log in with Facebook. So the main screen you get to is what's trending for businesses, your local businesses around you. Okay. And then you can also see what's trending for products. And then you can also see what's trending for movies. And what we what we do is we'll have the video um, auto playing for the movie trailer, and the sound won't come until you actually go. Hello. Okay. And you can just keep scrolling through to see other things, other movies. Um, you will also see that we have a feed section. So this is where your friends um, are talking about, you know, they wrote a review for Mission Impossible or movies or products. You can basically it's our social sharing part, just like your Facebook feed. Um, it shows, uh, you know, what your friends are reviewing and what they're recommending. And as we get more user, uh, you know, input and we get images, um, there will be a lot. This will be a very image uh, intensive uh, feed as you can see here so we'll use the images uh, that users upload so um, that's the feed then you can see also on the very bottom that's our home button that's on the bottom left uh, the next one is this arrow which is all of your um, uh, what's nearby you and so you can see the places nearby you um, you know just uh, by you can filter by star rating and just look for restaurants around you, but you can also look at what the places that your friends have recommended. So all of your friend recommendations, uh, let's say you wanna look for restaurants, you know, you know, in your local area, you can do that um, and see what places your friends have recommended. You can also change, let's say you're going to New York, you can just change the uh, center of your radar and type in New York and it'll show the places that your friends have recommended by the category that you choose at the very top. See right here, okay? So we also have, <clears throat> excuse me, on the bottom right, we have uh, notifications. That there's like a bell right there. So this shows you all the notifications you have, the messages, and friend requests. So you can easily have access to that. Then at the very top left, you can see, you can uh, search by category. So you can see this. And for movies. Okay. Now let's do um, uh, if one thing I forgot to show you is the W on the bottom. You see the W? You can access this W from any section of the mobile app. And it allows you to go to any section within the app. So the first one is create a review. The next one is history. So Anywhere that you've been for three minutes or longer will stay in your history um, and we will keep it in there. So let's say at the end of the day you want to write a review, you can easily do so by just going to your history and it'll show the places you've been for over three minutes. Okay, then there's recommendations. These are all the places you've recommended. <clears throat> then there's a news feed. So this is where um, you, know, you can go to any section within your news feed very easily. Then we have barcode, so you can actually scan in the UPC code of a product and it'll bring up the listing. So let's say you're at Best Buy and you're looking at a TV, you can easily do that and then get the reviews. Um, then there's the CRP, which is our community review project section. Then there's categories, you can go straight to the business product and movie category page. Then you can also check in, um, check into a location. And then we have My Theater. This is uh, the theater you designate in your profile section. 
It will show all the trailers and movie show times for the movies playing at the theater you've designated that you normally go to. Then we have your picks, which is just a listing of all your all the things that you've uh, added to your watch list and uh, your want list. And then we go back. So this is a kind of a cool tool that I think a lot of people will really like on our app. So now let's uh, do a search for something. Let's do a search for, let's do a search locally. For Red Robin. Okay, this is a place I went to and I uploaded some images. So you can see the very top, on the very top left will be the logo if the business claims their logo. Um, and we're also adding logos of major chains and restaurants on the back end. So, uh, so that'll be the logo and then there'll be a main, main picture. You can see uh, we have a pin icon which allows you to add this listing to your watch list or favorites or want list. There's also the thumbs up, which allows you to recommend this listing. You can also share you can see you can share the listing. And then you can add a picture, you know, so that we have more images. Okay. As you scroll down, you will see that it shows the temperature and the time. If it's open or closed, you can call, you can see the menu items, shows where you are on the map, where it is on the map. And then you can actually get um, open up Google Maps uh, or any other mapping application to get directions how to get to the place. <clears throat> then you can see as you scroll down, we have additional uh, things uh, uh, about the listing that you can click on. Then you can see we have all the images. And down here we also have the reviews. Okay. So let's go to all the images. You can see these images here. These are all user uploaded images. That's actually some video I took uh, using our video review function. So I just want to show you that how that looks. Um, so here's the uh, big part, which is you can create a review. So I'll take you through that process. So we ask you to do an overall rating first, and then you can do the detailed style rating. So this would be for service, location, ambiance, and staff. You can see the bottom part now. The bottom part lit up. So we're kind of pushing people to do video reviews. So you can just click on this and then, you know, we'll allow you to do a five minute video review. So uh, this is something unique to only us. Uh, Yelp only allows, I think, 10 seconds. So we're allowing five minute, uh, up to five minute video reviews, which I think will be useful for um, product related videos.